In this problem, we're given the graph of a relation, and we're asked to list the ordered pairs of the relation, find the domain of the relation, and find the range of the relation. Uh, this is similar to the previous problems we had, only we're not given uh, the, actual, the actual points. Uh, instead, we're given a graph, and we have to interpret the graph uh, as far as what those individual coordinates will be. Uh, again, the ordered pairs are just the coordinates of the individual points. I went ahead and took the liberty of darkening in the points when I copied the graph over so that they're more visible. And we'll go ahead and write uh, directly on the graph first uh, so we can see what those points are. Our first point at the top left is negative 3, 3. The second point is negative 2, 2. This third point is negative 1, 0. And then 0, negative 1. And then 2, negative 2. And finally 4, negative 4. So listing the ordered pairs of the relation, we'll just write them out in set notation. And now it's simply a matter of copying what we already have listed. We'll go from left to right. So negative 3, 3. Negative 2, 2. Negative 1, 0. 0, negative 1. 2, negative 2. And finally, 4, negative 4. And uh, now we're right back to uh, problems that we've looked at in the past. The domain again is the set of x values. So we'll put it in set notation and from least to greatest we have negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 2, and 4. And again, those simply come from the x values in our ordered pairs. And then we're asked to find the range of the relation. And that's going to be the set of y values. So looking at our ordered pairs, the y values are 3, 2, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 4. I'm going to go ahead and list them in ascending order. So we're going to work backwards from our, our coordinates. Uh, from our ordered pairs. So negative 4, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 2, and 3. 